This is the view from my deck on this beautiful look. There's actually some blue sky. Whoa! That tall tree is one that often gets surrounded by buzzards. I hear them going coo coo on the thermals. It's absolutely wonderful. And this is my valley. Well, on loan to me for the winter. And that's the view that I can see. And I'm going to sit down and catch up with stuff. <laughs> Just so that you don't think I've actually filmed this at a different time of year, I've got my gorgeous windproof, waterproof, down filled. Um, trespass coat on that keeps me wonderfully dry and warm and uh, and cozy. So I'm taking advantage of the fact that a lot of the clouds have disappeared, the rain's gone away for a while, it's sunny and uh, sort of, I mean it's getting getting towards dusk now but I thought I'd come and sit outside on my deck and um, have a bit of a different view and my my wood burner is is on the go and I'll have a kettle of water on there soon oh I'm burbling I'm exhausted it's been a very challenging and stressful few days with so much rain and the weird thing is that when I go to bed at night I feel <laughs> I'm not joking it does actually feel like the earth is moving underneath the, the yurt, which is, you know, driving my terrified fantasies that there's going to be some sort of horrific landslip and I'm going to end up dead in the valley having been thrown down there by a mountain side full of, full of um, mud. Not particularly lovely, lovely thought process, I've got to say. Um, but not only that, I've had troubles with my car, that's had to be towed back to London. I've joined something called the Flanny Car Club and I've got to say that even though it's been challenging here, um, is it worth it? Oh, it's worth it. It's so worth it. It's worth it beyond, beyond diamonds. I feel so different in myself, in my capacity. Um, I'm stronger, I'm fitter, I am more, I, I've got back in touch with my, with my resourcefulness and <laughs> I do talk to myself a lot so it's possible that I am going mad without, without knowing but, but I'm happily mad and so that works for me. I've met just the most wonderful people here. This is such an incredible community in Tlani and I'm considered a blow-in and as a blow-in I'm blown away by how lovely they are here and knowing that I want to live in community what's so amazing is this is already Tlanidlois is a, a wonderful encompassing community anyway and um, so there's lots of uh, uh, lots of great reasons for me to stay um, I'm shattered. I'm going to have a, a very restful evening and um, I'm going to get on with a lot of work for the rest of the week. I now have my cable um, that my Ethernet, my Apple Ethernet adapter, which at last will allow me to work from the farm office instead of schlepping into town and <laughs> working from the pub. Um, so yes, two months in, exactly two months into my stay in a yurt and so far the adventure is a great success and I would recommend it to everybody. Come down and join me and uh, let's have a glass of wine. Bye for now.